Welcome to Breaking News TV 24, your channel for news updates and current affairs. Stay tuned. Hello, our dear listeners. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Breaking News TV 24. Today's news update, you will learn that David Wamini, the boy who accuses Ikwaramadu's family for organ trafficking, cries out that he will be arrested or killed in Nigeria. But why the young man is making this statement for details of the story, please stay tuned. David Wamini, the boy at the center of the arrest and the prosecution of former Deputy Senate President E.K. Kwaramadu said he wants to remain in the United Kingdom. There would be kidney donor in the organ trafficking case and made the request in his impact statement read in court at the sentencing. In the statement, the 21-year-old David recalled how he was approached with an opportunity to work in the UK which he had always wished. He or better did not tell me he brought me here for this reason. He did not tell me anything about this. I would have not agreed. My body is not for sale, the boy added. I worry for my safety in Nigeria. I think they would arrest me or kill me in Nigeria. My plan now is to work, get an education and to play football, he said. The citizen added that he does not want to claim any compensation from the bad people as it would be caused and bad luck. The former Senate president, who clocked 61 on May 12, his wife Beatrice, 56, and the doctor middleman Obina Obeta, 51, were jailed today for UK. The trial were sentenced to 10 years and 8 months for years and six months and ten years after they were found guilty at the Central Criminal Court, Old Bailey. In each of your cases, the offense you committed is so serious that neither a fine nor a community sentence can be justified, Justice Johnson said. The Equerumados ran into trouble over the circumstances surrounding an organ donation for their 25-year-old daughter, Sonia who has a severe kidney disease. David was to be rewarded for making the donation to Aileen Sonia in an £80,000 private procedure at London's Royal Free Hospital. It is legal to donate a kidney in Britain, but not for financial or material reward. The maximum sentence for offence is life imprisonment. Friday's judgment is the first delivered in an organ harvesting conspiracy charge brought under the UK's 2015 Modern Slavery Act. Metropolitan Police, Modern Slavery and Exploitation Command Officer Detective Inspector Esther Richardson held the landmark conviction and thanked David for his bravery. Thanks for being with us on this marks end of our story at the moment. Don't forget to join us later for more news of that. But before then, we would like to hear your opinion on this matter. Have a nice time and goodbye.